Hello, lovelies, I'm Fragnostic, and tonight on Let's Slay, grab all the free shit, get the little soaps, get the towels, get the batteries out of that telly remote, shower gel, toilet roll, those little sugar packets, get them all, stuff them in your pockets, the curtains, get the fucking curtains down, that chair, smash the bastard legs off it and stick them down your trousers, we paid for this room, goddammit, all this crap is ours by law, here, in Hotel 1995 in which we'll explore such a mysterious place, gather tools and food, read notes, and find the secret door to all the answers. Such mysterious, very hotel. If you're gonna name your hotel after a year, and not, not anything marketable, why not 1995? Remember 1995? Man, Windows 95, Christopher Reeve broke his spine. Uh, what a great year. The 90s, yay! Look at this bare bones Unity template menu. How are you not excited? This isn't even in early access. This was a conscious design choice. Don't want to miss that deadline, do we, boys? Gotta make street date. Gotta let the good people give us their money. Why, they'll be ever so disappointed if they can't. My mood is pessimistic. My expectations lower than the TripAdvisor rating for Hell's Lich King Massage Parlor. Hands too bony, towels too coarse. So let's get on with signing our names in the fucking guest book here, shall we? Play. Play indeed. Well now. Doesn't this look familiar? What's my character's name here? Giles Cropshaw? No, 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 there is, there is of course a very clear difference here. Outlast was set in a mental institution. This is clearly a hotel with its complimentary flashlight and several batteries that check in, thank you kindly. Who there? What is that, a cop? <laughs> Solving the crimes, dum-de-dum, -dum, finding the clues, her de duh <laughs> Hotel security is looking pretty lax, gang. Looks like we're walking out of here with a new toilet and four square meters of carpet. How much copper wire can you carry, lovelies? You feeling strong for Uncle Fraggers today? Alright, let's walk in on some newlyweds here, shall we? You thought you'd save a little on the honeymoon, did you, sport? Well, now you got a weirdo in medieval battle armor staring at you from a door you couldn't lock. You get what you pay for. Shit, I don't even need the torch at all, really. This is plenty bright. Well, I gotta tell you, early suspicions seem to be correct. This doesn't really look like a hotel as much as it does a, shall we say, certain medical facility from a certain game. Can't remember the name of it. God damn it, tip of my fucking tongue. If there's a crazy overweight receptionist called Trish Chalker waddling around in here, I'm gonna snitch to Red Barrel. Fish poison. Well, I didn't mean for you to fucking eat it, you drippy bastard. There's some water. Wash that shit down. Horse poison? <laughs> oh, no, you got me with that shit already. I ain't falling for that twice. Well, there you go. What do we learn from that room? Don't eat poison. How lucky are we that Hotel 1995 is here to... Hold our hands through this battery of trials and riddles that we call life. <laughs> I don't even know what the point of that could possibly be. You're just leaving poison around for the player to eat? Shit, what you got lying around for the main? A tumor baguette? Extra cancer on mine, please. Has the fruit salad been washed? No? Good. Cause I want me some fucking malaria. Ah! Fuck! I set pack ghosts every bastard time. You pull that on a man with the shaky bowels of a nervous Pomeranian, you're effectively bullying the disabled. Hope you know that. I'll sue you for every ill-gotten multiple of three pounds ninety-nine that you've amassed. Turn your camera on. Make me note. What? What button for camera? Where are video box? Let's check the menu here. Uh, no, this is graphics. Here we go. Uh, digital camera on off. C. That makes sense. C is for camera. 
Unless you're a pillock. Alrighty, let's... You don't have the digit... Fuck! Where is it then? I'm sick of this horse shit already. Give me the basic tools I need to do my goddamn job. What kind of dipshit comes to explore such mysterious place and relies on sight scavenging to get equipment as essential as a flashlight or horse poison? Can't even take the hammer. Yet. The curse turned red there. What kind of problems is this place having with fish and horses that it needs to keep poison for those two specific animals lying around? Aha. Not even locked away, like, to hand. Right, I got your damn camera. Show me some bloody ghosts. What? No running in the hotel, you semi-transparent sanitary towel bin fire. Do these look like hotel rooms to you? They look an awful lot like madman cells to me. Beholding madmen and not hotel guests, as you would expect in a hotel. It's all going in the report, jerk off. Giles Cropshaw will expose you and your lies. God, this is sounding more and more like the porn parody of Outlast by the second, isn't it? Watch out, gang. Chris Walker could be down here filming his Get Fit tape, Gout Last. Give me ten sets of ten reps, piggies. Oh dear, it's the police. I've done nothing wrong, nothing at all. I'm a sovereign citizen, and therefore I'm bound by your laws. <laughs> ah, stop beating me, you're breaking the law. Oh wow, look at this premium room. Straw on the ground and a bucket and everything. A sprint meter has already failed me. Suspect I'll be limping along gasping for air while this clammy bastard punches me to death now. Well, you have to chase me for it, motherfucker. Or just sort of jog. What? The stairs have stopped working. I can't get up. They've stopped being stairs for some fucking reason. J Jesus Christ. There's some water. I'm gonna prolong this nonsense as much as I can. Mmm, ooh, precious life. Refreshing tears of Gaia herself healing my wounds. Get back, monster, or I'll blind you with the- Oh, well. A brave struggle, I'm sure you'll agree. I almost had him. You all saw it. He was about to throw in the towel. At least he would if this so-called hotel fucking had any. What? Why can I pick up one less battery this time around? What? Did it respawn me with smaller fucking pockets? Does death take you down a gene size? Well, I suppose it does eventually, doesn't it? Still, I'm gonna check out the upper floor here before I go anywhere else. There's gotta be some zombie poison up here somewhere. I'll bet the proprietors are kicking themselves for coming back from La La Land Pharmacy without that one. Right, we've got the fish poison, the horse poison. Anything else, dear? Don't forget the mermaid poison. Ooh, yes, don't want those swimming up through the toilets again, do we? Yes, mermaid poison. Ooh, darling, they've, they've got Salem Pegasus traps, five for thirty dollars. We don't need five. What? How many do we need? Because this is a this is a pretty good price. Uh three. Well, you get two more for two dollars. We don't need two more, we need three. For two fucking dollars! It's a unique one of a kind mythical fucking creature. We don't need five traps for it. Well if it's a unique fucking mythical fucking one of a kind bastard shit faced creature, why do we need three? Fine, spend all that money on bloody Pegasus traps, old woman. But don't come crying to me when you can't afford to wax your fanny or wipe your ass. Oh, there. Sounds like somebody dropped a piano. You sons of bitches, calm yourselves down. Don't you break the hotel piano, goddammit. That's the only amenity stopping this dive from being relisted as a hostel. Stop it! You'll only have yourselves to blame when you're sharing a room with Johnny Dreadlocks and his 200 gallon backpack. Trying to sleep while he regales his mother on FaceTime with touching stories of Cambodian orphans and white water rafting, playing motherfucking Billy Bragg songs on his guitar that's a semitone out of tune, with his voice that isn't so much out of tune as it is a decent impression of two geese hate fucking each other. Well, upstairs is completely bloody pointless, unless you're into the sound of incredibly expensive things being dropped by idiot delivery men. In which case, I urge you to consider Fragtastic Couriers. If you want something to get somewhere, and you don't really care where that somewhere turns out to be, 
or whether that something is the same item you originally gave us, or whether something becomes some things after multiple collisions with other road users, then my goodness, have you stumbled upon a company to give outrageous amounts of money to... My camera! Damn you fantastic couriers! You didn't even pick it up yet! How? I mean, that's talent, folks. Look at that. Here at Fragtastic Couriers, we don't even have to be anywhere near your shit to break it. Just send us a photo. We have an on-site telekinetic that will use his eldritch brain violence to shatter your precious heirlooms like squirrel vertebrae under a fat bastard's ass. Please do take care not to include any family members or loved ones in the picture that you send. Malefus the Dream Raper gets incredibly restless in his electrified enclosure and will sometimes possess or cripple those whose faces he has committed to the dark regions of his memory to entertain himself. We used to wear Donald Duck masks to feed him before a lot of costume Disney World workers started exploding on the job. Now we wear Sarah Palin masks. Don't worry Sarah Palin fans. He tried it once, vomited all over himself and cried himself to sleep for a week. Aha! Follow me, chum! I found you a buddy! Are you ready for the most explosive, exhilarating, extemporaneous extravaganza of the summer? Worlds will collide in ghosts versus zombies! Oh, fucking hell, really? You're not even going to amuse us by trying to eat, uh... Well, I hope you know there's about a hundred helpless orphans in the hospital a few miles from here that you're letting down. Oh shit, forget I told you where a hundred helpless orphans were. Shut the fuck up and go home, we don't need you anymore. No, it doesn't say you're entitled to catering if you didn't work, read your fucking contract. Beat me all you want, corpse cop, you'll never stop me from reading. Your precious note! Ah, <laughs> what, what the, what the fuck was that? They couldn't even be bothered to put the damn writing on the page. Are you fucking kidding me? 